lifetime sparring with Sugar Ray Leonard. The contrast between Leonard and O'Sullivan is more than evident inside the Sugar Ray Leonard Boxing Center. For O'Sullivan, the experience of a lifetime. For Ray Leonard, just another day at the office. And that includes performing as well as training. These seats are full of school kids for every Ray Leonard workout. As you might expect, Leonard is more than willing to please them. This day, Sean O'Sullivan is one of six sparring partners that will tangle with Leonard, all with thumbless boxing gloves. There would be two O'Sullivan-Leonard rounds in this session. The first, as you might expect, more than tentative, not much happening in the way of punches. But despite that lack of activity, both O'Sullivan and manager trainer Peter Wiley were very busy trying to pick up tips. Just, uh, Peter talked a few things over with you after the first round. What were you talking about? Well, we were talking about um, certain things that I was doing uh, in relation to, to Ray, uh, things that Ray would do that I, that I could capitalize upon and things that I was doing that Ray was capitalizing on, and uh, just basically uh, technique work. And We're talking about the pace, that it was a professional pace, and that it was uh, fairly slow. And He was warming up to the action, and we felt that uh, he would probably step up the pace in the next round and uh, to work accordingly as he stepped up the pace, work accordingly. O'Sullivan got a breather after round one. Leonard did not. When they met again, the action was crisp and spirited for a controlled sparring match. A couple of very good flurries in both corners, and you could almost see both fighters trying to figure each other out. They didn't spend a long time fighting each other. That wasn't the point. This scene was a boxing lesson from Sugar Ray. Get a bit to his body. Look, here, look at his body. Here, what you got? Here, this is a fire shot. It's an instinct that you've got, right? Okay. I just took your face. Oh, yes. You know? Hey, throw it, throw it here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, don't, don't push your body. Just tip oh. it, just tip it. Here. There you go. Naturally. But instead of pulling out, pull in. Okay, we're going to show you that foot to your head. Do it slow. Now go to the body, but just go forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see the power? All this comes through. Yeah. If you go this way, you take away the leverage for the punch. That's why I, I, when you just punch on me, I just lift it up. Yeah. Ah. Boom! I just fall right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I will respect. All right? Yeah. Don't let your man time it. You know, a lot of times you just call me around the ring. Okay. This is how two guys are. See? Your pace and my pace is two things. But they're really fresh. I have a tendency to lay back. You keep going. Yeah. So when I'm moving around, what you got to do? That's all. Give him a fight. That's how I do that. Give him a fight. See what his reaction is. Can I move on you? Do this. I see what you're going to do. I see how you react. But a lot of times, the guy boxes for you. Do this. He doesn't do anything. I'm right here. So give him a lot of fight. So I'll tell you, boom, boom. He was just giving me some pointers. Um, very, very beneficial, I think. Uh, things he noticed that uh, I could do, um, for instance, uh, throwing one shot in one position and then quickly going to another spot with the same hand. Um, things that uh, are, are very useful, uh, especially coming from a guy like that. Sean is aware of those things, but it's, uh, you know, sometimes you forget them. And it takes somebody like uh, Sugar Ray Leonard to impress that on you and it sticks with you and that's that's great a trainer can say it over a hundred thousand times when somebody of that uh, notoriety mentions it to you it really sticks with you and uh, i'm very appreciative of that i think about it sean was not at all intimidated by me i think at first he was somewhat apprehensive to punch and uh, someone must have turned a switch on in his back because he went to work i think sean is a very talented individual and his chances of winning a gold medal are very good i think he's he has the right ingredients that qualify him for an uh, Olympic competitor. Aggressiveness, he's clean, um, his punches are short and crisp. I think that uh, he's definitely qualified. Ahead for Sean O'Sullivan, a bout on a card next week featuring our best against some of the better American amateurs at the Harbor Castle Hilton Hotel. Tomorrow night, a talk with Sugar Ray Leonard on his comeback in Palmer Park, Maryland, Jim Taddy for Sportsline. <laughs>